Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And before I start this video, I want to say my new baitcaster setup. Um, oh, there's like two worms just laying here. My, my baitcaster setup will be down in the description. And also, big news: I have a new channel. It's called Jared Rollins. This description. Well, it's just my name, and that's where I'm gonna be uploading like non-fishing related stuff. Because a lot of people said I should just do more stuff other than fishing, so I decided to make another channel for that. So the link will to that channel will be down in the description. Let's get down. Let's get onto the video. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and it's SEFT SEFFTV here. And this is one of videos you guys like aren't expecting. You're like, where's your fishing video, Jared? But I wanted to talk about something today, guys. So, um, I picked up a new rod. It's right here. I'm not going to show you guys. Oh, wait, you can see it. Didn't think you guys can see it. You can see it. So, I picked it up. And, um, I'm going currently, can you see my, there's a, my, no, that, that, right, that, right there. Okay. There's my bag. Suitcase. Um, I'm going to Orlando. Well, like, Orlando area to visit some family. And, uh, you best know I'm going fishing. Um, so, let me pick this up. Oh, that's how you snap a rod, guys. Don't do not do that. Okay, so here's the rod I got. Um, here's the rod I got. So it retails for, like, around about $55. Some chances you'll get, like, cheaper, like, $45, $50. It's an overall great kind of lower-end reel. I wouldn't say it's a lower-end reel. I'd say it's just a, a, a reel, I guess. No other way to put it, guys. So make sure medium Ooh, I'm gonna break this all right I'm just I'm just saying it's a medium because it's a medium okay let me set this in front of my face because I feel like it okay so it's a medium and um I overall I just love this you know I love it it's super light like I thought my other reel was light so yeah I will also I love the split um split ends where there's um not a split end what do they call it like where the well it's not cork but this foam stuff it split. It overall just like balances out the weight on the reel. I mean, on the rod, and it just looks good. I just and it makes it a lot lighter by like without keeping 20 pound uh, test on this. Actually, at Walmart, like I okay, I got this at Walmart. So I was in the fishing section. I was looking at picking up a new spinning reel, raw a spinning rod because my other spinning rod is kind of big. It's a heavy foot it's a heavy rod it's a seven foot rod you've seen it in my other videos it's black and white the Daiwa rod like i don't know i've never seen this before the what's the um uh the rods it's crazy they stacked up on these rods which is crazy so you guys think walmart is like a bad place for um fishing like fishing like reels and rods it's not well at least mine i don't know about yours but so I can't believe so I found this there's other and actually uh, Abu Garcia vengeance rod that retail for like 94 27 something like that it's expensive um this one this rod okay so I walked in I'm looking around I see all these rods just laid out like on the medium heavy or something like that I'm looking for I see this baby laying down I'm just like can you see it yeah this baby laying down I'm just like oh my just like Oh. All right, I'm like, all right, this is probably too expensive. I'm not trying to spend more than fifty dollars because it's just a spinning rod. I'm not trying to spend that much money. I don't want to waste so much money because I actually someone stole my tackle box not too long ago. I'm still trying to restore a lot of baits. So yeah, but um, this reel was attached to it. The rod was retailed for about sixty. I'm trying to shoot a buddy, a buddy. I'm trying to shoot a video. What are you doing? There's my dog, guys. You can't see him. Say hi to the camera. You just gonna sit there. Okay. So where was I? So look, I lost track where I was. Thanks a lot, buddy. You serious, bro? Okay. So I saw this rod retailed for fifty-five dollars, and it had this on it. So I thought so everything together was like fifty-five. I paid fifty-five. I later on look up my reel. My reel retails for sixty to. 50 like 50 dollars oh 60 to 50 dollars 
Like, I'm just like, what the heck? Someone, this, so Walmart had this reel. Someone in Walmart put this reel on this rod and maybe was checking it out, looking at it, be like, I later, I later look on, the rod was $55 itself. So I basically, if I'm, I'm pretty bad at math, so like around a $110, $100 setup for $55. It was like $60 because I got the four-year plan. Uh, not a four-year, a two-year plan for $4. That was a great plan. Shout out to Walmart. And by the, okay, before I continue, this is not a paid sponsorship. No one in their right mind would sponsor, so sponsor me, guys. No one would like, but it, but if a sponsor's watching this, um, I'll I'll support your product, cause all your products are good, especially Walmart. Walmart is a great value. I literally got 50% off on this setup. I'm still amazed how this happened. This rock for you guys, it's a very good, probably like mid-range kind of reel, but it's a really good reel. The Daiwa, I love Daiwa. That's my first rod I ever got. Only rods I've had are Daiwa. And they still continue to be, except for my Bass Pro Shops Baitcaster. You guys see, I actually found at Walmart, I found, because I ran out low. Because, like, my, my that reel I have, the Extreme Bass Pro Shops, it, real, baitcasting reel, low, pro, low profile, it's, the spool is very compact and small. So, it's just, like, so, it's just, like, come on. Like, I, I have to, like, re-spool. I've re-spooled, like, about, uh, about a whole bunch of times. Like, three times. It's my third time re-spooling. I found this yellow braid. I was like, whoa, I picked up this yellow braid. I'm sick of that ugly Vermont. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So let me talk about this. This worm is on here for a reason. This is the, just a, what's this, a zoom, uh, zoom, um, finesse worm, weird color, lit color. I was, my mom went to this restaurant that's on the intercoastal. Interco if you guys don't know what the intercoastal is, you're not from South Florida. It runs the east, like right parallel to like the ocean, and well, not parallel, like kind of like a maybe a mile in west of the ocean, of the Atlantic, South Florida, Southeast Florida. That's what actually, if you guys didn't know, it's so yeah, I was there fishing. I I didn't expect to catch anything. I'm just casting. I have I've burst this like once twice no three times because i've been trying to flip and pitch and i'm not too good at flipping and pitching but i've gotten a lot better so yeah i was just i had this worm this worm's like pretty worn out i usually wear i usually do it when i feel like casting out my yard because like it's already like a ruined worm and i had that on already because i was casting it in my yard and i'm casting and i'm like just jigging it up i'm jigging against this wall kind of like this wall where i'm standing on and it's pretty crazy, like, I was just jigging, like, on this wall, and a jack, like, two jack crevel, like, a four pound, four pounds, it fought very good, it was, like, right next to the bank I was on, and it still fought me for, like, 30, 30 seconds before I flipped it up, but I'll insert, insert that video right now! So I just caught a nice jack off, oh, where's my worm, I, I caught an awful worm, I was just messing around just trying to cast my new bait caster, that's a nice one. Okay, I hope you guys just saw that video, because I just put it in there, but you guys probably saw it. But, um, yeah, I'll probably upload this video while I'm on the train going to wherever I'm going, Orlando, to go fishing every single day. So expect the video, hopefully I actually catch a fish so I can upload the video, but yeah, overall great reel, overall great Daiwa rod, overall great Abu Garcia rod. I just love this rod so much. This rod I'm basically gonna use for my cranking. I'll, I'll, this might, I might crankbait, throw a couple crankbaits with this rod. Never know, but it is a medium kind of rod, so I don't really know. I wanna throw like seven foot medium heavy for um, cranking, uh, crankbaiting. Sorry about that, but um, I'm just really stoked. Like, I'm just stoked that I got this rod and reel. I'm gonna take a thumbnail. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wanna 